welcome back to Jessica's craft time today we're going to attempt to do some paint pouring never done this before not sure what I need I'm just going with the flow but what I'm going to paint pour onto I've got these crafters choice round placemats that are 25 centimeter round placemats and that is from spotlight let's see if I can just zoom you out a bit further we also have a canvas which is an 8 by 10 canvas not a thick one that one was from Riot Art I think this was from Riot Art as well it's like a um, just says Tim and Tessa's rectangular wooden paint panel so it's just a wooden one with some edging and I thought we'd try a black little black canvas so I think we might work on this one first and I thought a way I could, that's not going to work, hold it up would be with these cups. I might go a bit further back. Yeah, that's going to, that's going to hold it. Just so that it can drip down. Let's move you back a little bit. I do have, um, I've opened up a clear plastic bag that I've put on the table to protect the table. This is going to get messy. So, what colours are we going to use? So, I've got the acrylic pouring paint black. These are ready to pour. Shake well before use. This highly pigmented, non-toxic acrylic paint is pre-mixed and ready for you to create your unique flow artwork. Paint can be poured into a mixing cup with other colours or poured directly onto the surface. Apply at room temperature, clean up immediately with warm soapy water. And this is an opaque. So let's just choose a couple of colours. I haven't even opened these yet, so you're going to have to bear with me as I open them. I reckon we're going to need, oh, that's a metallic pearl. I've got all sorts of colours here. So let's just, because these were sent via post, they actually taped every lid on, which makes it a bit harder for it to get out, but less chance of them leaking over the order. And I reckon we go with different blues in this one. That's all scratched my hand. Got a brilliant blue, cobalt blue, cool blue, maybe a smidgen of green, a smidgen of yellow, and a warm blue. Okay, let's get all these open. I'll just pause you while I open them all. Okay, so I reckon this one, we just go straight onto the canvas. I'm just going to give them all a bit of a shake. What colour do you reckon? This opaque one needs a, a good shake. I reckon we just start with blues. Let's go. I have no idea how much to put on. You can pour it, I think we'll pour it into a cup for one of the smaller ones. Got a little bit of green in there. Smidgen of yellow. This one's a pearl. And a drop of black. Okay. Let's see what happens. I don't think I've put nearly enough paint on. Alright, let's do that all again. I'll put a bit more. I 
I just really want to see what it's going to turn out like. Okay, that's a lot more paint. Oh yeah, that's moving a lot more freely. I still don't reckon that's enough paint. That black's a lot more than I thought it would be. It's pretty cool watching it all just move and change with every tip of the uh, canvas. Let's try and get some down in this corner. Probably should have put gloves on. Okay, I wonder if we can I wonder if I want to really just get it to the edges. We might have to put some more paint on here. Trying not to tip it off the um, edge of the table. And it seems to be kind of um, drying a little bit around those edges. So you definitely need to go more paint when you tip it in. I was being a little bit sparse with my paint. Now it's not going to want to move. It's not wanting to move over this corner. So let's just do a few drops of different colours around the edge. I think I mainly want blue. You know, it was really cool on the weekend. We went into the um, Royal Botanical Gardens in Sydney. And... There was a lady that was doing painting. I'm just going to cheat a bit. I really want it to go over the edges there. There was this woman doing paintings with beeswax. They were really cool. Okay, it's drying quite quickly. As in it's not flowing very well. I'm just going to really want it to cover those edges. This is messy. I've got my baby wipes and my paper towel. Actually, I really like that. It's just going to get a baby wipe. And I just got paint all in my baby wipe container. I really like that. Boy, <laughs> it doesn't come off your hands very well. There was a lot more on my hands than I thought there was going to be. Okay, I'm just trying to get my hands a little bit clean. Wow, I really like that. Let me know in the comments what you think. All right, I have a feeling I'm going to have blue fingers. Now I'm going to pause you, move that out of the way, and we'll get our next one to work on. Okay, let's try this black canvas and see what the colours come up on black. I thought, I mean, it gets all covered, but maybe it changes the underneath. Cool yellow, warm yellow, cool red, orange. Metallic copper, 
an off-white and what I thought is I'd try the pour it in a cup and see what happens I've got this little shot glass here let's just pour some of each in here not really being very careful how I pour them it's kind of Throwing it in. Okay, so I've done about a shot glass worth of paint. Surely that'd be enough for this little canvas, but let's see. Oh, that's going to be all well and truly enough. And I'm just going to get a paddle pop stick. Okay, let's see what happens. Look at the reds in that. The copper hasn't really come through. I'm going to try and get it like off. Now, when you cut open a plastic bag for your desk, just make sure it doesn't have holes in it. Because this one here, oops, I've just dropped the paint all over my um, <laughs> shot glass to hold it up with. I think I need another shot glass. Oh, look at that. I love that. I'm just going to go over this top corner. Let's just help it over there. All right. While I've... Oh, my wipes have gone in their container. Oh, I love that. Come apart. Shot glasses are stuck together and I think I just got paint. I'm going to move it off to the side. I'll get two clean shot glasses. I really love that. Okay. Let that dip. Now I've got to try and get a wipe out without getting my whole container covered in paint. I probably should have thought about this and put gloves on. But I really love that fiery red and just with the flicks of bronze in the back okay so one shot glass was enough for that so i reckon if we did up two shot glasses for the bigger one it would be fine okay definitely need your wipes and your paper towel to clean up everything I mean, I probably could just throw that shot glass in the bin, but I'm not going to. The paper towel is very good for absorbing a lot more than the wipes. I can use those ones again. Now, yeah, I've got two holes in my plastic. Silly me. I'm just going to mop up some of that paint so we don't get too much of it on the next one. The paper towel is definitely better for soaking up the actual paint. And if you had the space, I would probably suggest laying it out and not having to move it once you've done it. But And gloves. My hands are multicolored, but that's okay. All right. I'm going to do the plank of wood on the shot glasses as well. Oh, now it wants to come apart when I don't want it to. Alright. Do you reckon we do the same colours? I reckon we do, and we just fill two shot glasses with it. And we'll tip the two at the same time and see what happens. Maybe in a slightly different order. So I'm just pouring the paint in, sort of trying to get it to go in the middle. 
but I think we definitely will need two full shot glasses. I'm not going to put as much as the other paints because this one's not quite full yet. So we'll just go back. Some more fiery red. Maybe a little dollop of black in each one. And maybe we'll put some of the metallic pearl too. That's definitely a lot thicker. And a couple of drops of green. Some more orange. Okay, so I've got two shot glasses full now. I'm going to scrape them as well. So I like what happened with the red when you scraped it. Two shot glasses is definitely enough for this board, I reckon. I like how it's got that dollops of colour there. Alright, let's see what we... I'm going to try and get it to the edges. Don't want it to go over just yet. Okay. Now we'll start going over. I'm just going to move. Oops, sorry, I knocked you. I really want it to actually go down the ridges on the, the board and cover them. Every time you move it, you get a different, different look. go over there. I want it to go over on the edge there. Come on. Come on. Just a little bit over. We're getting there. But it's not quite. Okay. I'm going to just help it out with my finger. Ah, oh, look at that. That looks awesome. I love that. All right. I didn't think this one through, did I? Because it needs to go over the back. Okay, I'm just going to move my paints. And then I reckon the round one, we do like a purple and a pink theme. On the next one. Okay. Put that down. Oh, I like that. All right, I'm going to pause you, clean up, and we'll do the last round one. Okay, I'm back. So there's two colours that we haven't used today, which is a warm red and a deep green. Those two I haven't opened, but this one we're going to use a cobalt hue, purple, rose, burnt amber, and deep sea. And I reckon what I'm going to try and do is just lines. I'm just going to squirt it on. I don't want as much of the brown and the green as I want the pink and the purple.
so I have no idea how this is going to turn out but this is what playing is try not to spray it on my red one I'm just giving it quite a good squirt of each colour. And let's tilt it and see what happens. Oh, there's a lot of paint on this one. Okay, I'm going to have to be very careful. I don't um, drip it onto my other canvases. Oh, that's awesome. That's a lot more paint on that one. It's a little bit over here that hasn't gone over the edge quite properly yet. Still gives me the squiggly lines. I think I want to change that. Quite a lot of paint falling off that. I like it, but I'm not like, woohoo. I think it's these big sections of pink I'm not liking. I'm not a pink person. That's more purple. I wanted it more purple. Than pink. Let's see what happens if I move that around a bit. I think it's like anything you kind of just have to stop playing at some point. Yeah, I think I definitely went a bit too heavy on the pink. But I'm going to leave that there. That one I put a lot more paint on. And it moved around a lot more, a lot freer. Um, if you're worried about messy hands, please wear gloves. Um, I don't think the wipes are going to quite cut it. I'm going to have to definitely go in and um, give my hands a good scrub probably in the laundry sink but I've really enjoyed doing that so we used three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen six seventeen colors there was also a wattle yellow we hadn't used so I've got three colors that I haven't opened yet and once these all dry I will take photos and post them at the end of the video so you can see what they all came out like um i did you can see here i put some paper towel under where the holes were on my plastic because that was a bad idea if i hadn't known at the start i probably would have um just sticky taped over them i do suggest what i've learned make sure you've got enough space if you can work without moving them that's even better a bit hard when you're filming because i don't have the option to move my camera um make sure you have paper towel which is really good for soaking up all the extra paint i used let me show you i used the paddle pop sticks which were handy you could probably even stir the paint in the um thing i used the little shot glasses and some of them are sitting on the big cups I'd probably like to get the smaller size cup so you could mix a bigger section at once. Paper towel, baby wipes. Um, it has got almost all of, all of it off. I'm just going to have to go and find the nail brush to clean around my nails because they're a bit gross. But gloves and have a rubbish bag ready so you've got somewhere to throw it all because I wiped the plastic in between each pour just so I didn't have 
too much but you just need something to stand them on so that they can still drip they've all dripped a little bit um but i'm just going to let them sit the paint's not too toxic in smell these were ones from right art and they're uh, ready to pour acrylic painting so that was a lot of fun i do have other canvases and other shapes i have a box i want to do so i don't know how that's going to go but stay tuned there might be some more paint pouring coming up but that was really fun something great to do with the kids and messy if you're worried about the mess take it outside um but get yourself a big bit of plastic and now it's a matter of waiting and seeing how they dry because they all look very shiny now and i'd love to see how they're going to dry but this little one here is probably my favorite the little um that one and that one over there so i hope you've enjoyed this video and i'll see you all in the next one take care for now bye